Quick uh, report here from Deadline. It says A24 is calling civil war at a $25.7 million opening, largely fueled by Democrat and liberal moviegoers, but with overperforming business in some red state regions like the South and Southwest. Uh, so this is the report of the new movie Civil War opened at $25 million. Um, and pretty big hit at the box office. Lots of reviews. And if you're not familiar with the, the, the movie, it's, it, it portrays a, a fictional scenario where a civil war has broken out in the United States, in the modern United States. Um, lots of reviews saying that it's a disturbing, kind of terrifying glimpse in the near future. Uh, it's a, a warning sort of a premonition of what's to come. Now, I haven't seen the movie yet myself. I'll probably watch it, not in theaters, but you know, I'm interested to see it. And so I can't offer any analysis of, of the film or the quality of the film. The claim is that this is a movie about a fictional civil war, and yet it's non-political. That's, that's what I'm reading anyway. It's a lot of the, the reviews are saying that. Um, supposedly, the filmmaker didn't choose a side or, or paint one side as liberal and the other as conservative. I find that extremely hard to believe, but who knows? Maybe it's true. I haven't seen it. What I can say without having seen the film is that for all the talk about how this is a look into our uh, future, it, it is almost certainly not that. Uh, we are not headed towards a civil war, especially not one where Texas and California are on the same side, which apparently they are in this movie. Uh, but no matter, no matter the sides, it's just not happening. And I've always said this that I think we're, we are more divided now than we've ever been, even more divided than we were in you know, the 1850s in the lead up to the Civil War, the actual Civil War. So we're, we are more divided than that. I think that, that it's not hyperbole to say that. But at the same time, probably a Civil War has never been less likely than it is right now. And the reason is that, uh, there, there are several reasons, many, you know, uh, myriad reasons. But the main reason is that fighting a Civil War takes a certain commitment, a certain uh, seriousness of purpose, a certain sustained focus that I think we're just incapable of these days. And I don't mean that as a lament. I mean, I do lament the fact that we're unserious and uh, not committed and not able to pay attention to anything. I, I lament that, but I don't lament that we're not going to fight a civil war. I mean, that, that's good. I don't, civil war is a terrible thing. You know, we've been talking a lot this uh, this past few weeks, and we'll later on in the show be talking again about the issue of abortion. And uh, and we know that now the fight for life is more critical than it's ever been, and that's why an organization like Preborn is so critical. Preborn covers all the bases for soon-to-be mothers, particularly ones considering abortion. Preborn meets women with compassion, encouragement, and understanding, providing them with the tools they need to choose life. A lot of people who are upset about the pro-abortion movement are asking what they can actually do to fight back. This is what you can do. You can support organizations like Preborn because Preborn is out there on the front lines helping women to choose life. You can sponsor one ultrasound for just $28 and save a life today. Or if you have the means, please consider a leadership gift of $5,000. This tax-deductible gift will sponsor Preborn's entire network for 24 hours and help rescue 200 innocent lives. To donate securely, dial pound 250 and say the keyword baby. It's pound 250 and say the keyword baby or go to Preborn dot com slash Matt. That's preborn.com slash Matt. So mainly I'm just, I'm observing the reality here. It is what it is. And, you know, there's obviously been a lot of analysis, hundreds and hundreds of volumes of analysis about what led to the first civil war, the actual civil war, the civil war. And, but the one factor that's usually missed, or at least not mentioned very often, is that leaving aside the politics of it, back then, men were just cut from a different mold. Uh, they fought and died for what they believed in. They willingly accepted deprivation and suffering. Especially on the Confederate side, many of the soldiers were, were marching into battle long, long marches without shoes, without coats, without much food. Um, they were dying from disease and from exposure, not to mention from battle, from the violence in, in the battle. And uh, they fought on both sides out of a sense of honor. Um, and that kind of mentality just doesn't exist anymore. We're distracted. We're overfed. We're way too comfortable. We can't focus on one topic for more than 45 seconds. Uh, most people just want to scroll their phones and they want to binge whatever the latest show is on Netflix or HBO Max. And uh, yeah, we argue about all kinds of stuff on Twitter. But the idea of actually putting your life on the line for any of this stuff is 
absurd to most people. They would just never do it. Uh, so we, we are too lazy and uncommitted for a civil war, is what I'm saying. It's, so f- for that reason alone, it just it won't happen. We're not, we are not the kind of people who, who do that anymore. Um, and unfortunately, not, not, not for good reasons. I mean, I'm not saying we're not the kind of people who, who do that because we're so peaceful and uh, united. I, I wish that was the reason, but it's no, it's, it's, it's out of the, again, inability to focus, uh, inability to take anything all that seriously. Um, now, riots, riots and, and civil unrest are a different matter. The BLM riots of 2020, you know, that's that's kind of more our speed now. And because that, that's something you can run out and you can participate in it and uh, probably you'll suffer no consequence and you won't even get arrested. And um, you're not really putting yourself in a whole lot of physical danger. It should be a dangerous thing to, to be involved in rioting, but it's not. So you can run out and do it and then you can be back home to watch uh, Shogun on Hulu. You know, and, and you, you're back in your air-conditioned house and, and the apartment or your mom's basement. And that's more our speed. So I think that's what we can look for in the future. Just kind of more of what we've seen. Hey, YouTube, thanks for listening to the show. If you'd like access to my full show with no ads, you should go to dailywire.com and use promo code Walsh to get two months free on all annual plans. See you there.